In this example, I'm going to demonstrate how to graph a logarithmic function on my math lab that has had some transformation movements. So in our example, we want to graph f of x equals log base 3 of x minus 2. The x minus 2 is a parentheses group after the logarithm. So with logarithms, any th movements in parentheses would be a horizontal movement. And with horizontal movements, we always graph the opposite of the original sign. So if minus 2 is what we originally have, that's going to change to positive 2, which will shift the logarithm to the right 2. So I'm going to put in those movements here. It says the graph could be obtained by translating the graph of y equals log base 3x blank units. So I'm going to put 2 units to the, and I'm going to select right check the answer, and then it asks you to graph. So click the graphing tool button to enlarge the graph and select the logarithm graph. Now a logarithm graph has a vertical asymptote and the graph increases up to the right, so the logarithm tool is what we want to select. Click anywhere to plot a point and it will automatically graph the original logarithm. So a logarithm has a vertical asymptote at x equals 0 and an intercept 1 to the right. We want to put in our movements right 2. So I'm going to go down to the horizontal shift and I'm going to take this button and I, as I click on it, it has the movement up above. So I want to go until it lands at 2 and you can see the graph shifting. Check your base of your logarithm, which is a base of 3, and if that's correct, you can X out, and then save, and then check the answer.